Hi guys, in this video I will be talking about 7 generally used plugins from RuneLite I use as a free-to-play only regular account with 23,000 hours played. While there are a lot of other great plugins out there, these are the selection I've chosen for non-skill specific uses. Also, these are worth using for nearly all account types, so they're not limited to free-to-play skilling. The first two plugins I'm listing in the same category. Menu Entry Swapper, which will be on your client by default, and Custom Menu Swaps, which will, you'll have to download in the Plugin Hub. The Plugin Hub is located in your sidebar by clicking the wrench icon, then click the plug icon. Here, use the search bar and type Custom Menu Swaps and click Install. Once this is installed, you can search for it in your plugin list and turn it on. There's a huge variety of things you can do with this plugin which I am by no means an expert on. However, there are instructions on how to enter your custom commands into the system below in the instructions dropdown. The two commands I use are swap use bar on anvil, which allows me to always use a bar on the anvil so I don't use it on a player standing in front of that anvil. And the other is walk here, which removes the ability to left click on the ground, which is useful for not misclicking in certain situations. In order to toggle these off, you can enter two slashes before the command. The original of the two plugins, Menu Entry Swapper, also has a few custom functions. Firstly, turn on the plugin and click the drop down arrow for the first three tabs. Next, check the first option, Customizable Left Click and Shift Click, for each of them. What this does is allow you to customize what you want your left click to be at any given item, object, or NPC on the spot. You can do this by holding shift and select the custom option from the drop down menu in game. An example of how I use this function is to remove the ability to accidentally pick up ashes when I'm fire making, but it can have a million other purposes as well. The second plugin is called Entity Hider, which is fairly self explanatory. This plugin is also available in your client's default plugins. Here you have a variety of different entities that can be turned on and off. I prefer turning on hide others while I'm training woodcutting in world one for forestry events because it can get hard to see what's going on at times. The third plugin is called idle notifier, which is available in your client's default plugins. What this plugin does is notify you when your player is no longer doing the action you're performing. And also when other custom thresholds have been surpassed, like your hit points dropping below 20, for example. Here, I like to turn on animation, interaction, and logout notifications, and then I like to set the delay between 5000 ms and 10,000 ms, which just really means a delay of 5 to 10 seconds. Below the delay, you can customize these settings to your liking. Keep in mind, whatever number you set these to will be when your client will ping you with a notification. The fourth plugin is the Bank Tags and Bank Tag Layout plugins, which I am lumping together once again. Bank tags can be found in your default plugins list, and bank tag layout can be found and downloaded in the plugin hub. These plugins allow you to create a customizable layout in your bank for any particular task you do in game. These are pretty similar to bank tabs, however, they allow you to move objects to empty spaces, giving more room to customize. Turn your bank tags plugin on and check use tag tabs and remember last tag tab. The other options are up to your own preferences. In the Bank Tag Layouts plugin, I believe I just turned on whatever the defaults were, but if yours looks different, this is what I have checked. Make sure you do have Enable Layout by default though. To set these up, go to the top left of your bank and click the New Tag Tab button and name your custom tag. Next, you can customize the icon you'd like to use by clicking the default spade on the left and click Change Icon. If you click this white arrow shuffle icon in the bottom right, the plugin will give you a suggestion of how to lay out the tab. Essentially what you can do now is drag an item from your bank into these tag tabs and they'll always be there until you remove them. To remove an item from them, you can right click that item and click remove tag. These are nice because you can drag items down next to the deposit inventory button for quick depositing and withdrawing. If you'd like to extend your tag tab beyond this 6x8 grid, you can just drag an item beneath it like this. 
The next plugin is the logout timer, which can be found in the default plugins list. This is useful to save yourself some time logging in every time you need to get up and do something else IRL. I have mine set to a max of 25 minutes. I primarily use this for splashing in AFK and Castle Wars, but like I said, you, it can save you that time of logging into your main or alts over and over when you need to get up for more than 5 minutes. The next plugin I like to use is the XP Updater, which will have to be downloaded from the plugin hub. If you like tracking your progress on third-party sites such as Temple, Crystal Math Labs, or Wise Old Man, I'd recommend using this plugin. Essentially what it does is every time you log out and your high score page gets updated, it will automatically update your tracking page on the sites you have checked. Tracking is useful to see how your progress is going on achieving your goals, whatever they may be. It helps you get a rough time frame for when a goal will be finished, and also helps you to compare yourself to other players in a similar account build. I would personally recommend using templeosrs.com for your primary tracking since it always is the most up-to-date with EHP rates and is run by very high-level players who know what they're doing. The last plugin combination I would recommend using are the Random Events and Random Event Hider plugins. Random Events is a plugin that exists in the default plugin list. However, Random Event Hider will have to be downloaded in the plugin hub. The Random Events plugin can be enabled to notify you when random events of your choosing have appeared. Definitely enable the Genie and Surprise random events for the XP lamp and books. If you're into obtaining collection log items, these can also be useful. Once you have obtained everything you need to from randoms, you can then disable them in the Random Event Hider plugin. First, I'd recommend disabling all random events from others, which unfortunately needs to be checked individually for some reason. Below that, you can now hide all of your randoms that you wish to disable. So that's all I have for today. Uh, I may upload a part two of this in the future if people like this one. I'll also be talking about skill-specific plugins and future skilling guides I'll be working on, so subscribe and stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. Take care.